Welcome to CERMPAS. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to perform the year-end closure for your store. The year-end closure must be done on the last day of the year, and after the last sale of the year. If you haven't completed it, the system will allow you to continue operating for a maximum of 3 days, till 4th of January, into the new year. However, after this period, you won't be able to make any sales until the closure is completed. Step 1. Perform the daily closure. Before you can proceed with the year-end closure, you must first complete the daily closure. If you try to perform the year-end closure without this step, the system will notify you with a message. To complete the daily closure, click on Closure, then Next, and follow the steps. Step 2. Start the year-end closure. Once the daily closure is complete, go to Tools and select Annual Closure. For this tutorial, I'll demonstrate for the year 2025, but the process applies to any year you are closing. Click Next, and you'll see options to select what data you want to carry over from the previous year, in this case, 2024. Step 3. Select the data to carry over. It's important to carefully choose the data you need to bring forward, as this process can take a long time if unnecessary options are selected, especially if inventory is included. Basic data must always be checked. Only select Inventory if you actively manage stock in the system. If you don't track inventory, leave this option unchecked. After making your selections, click Next. The system will then ask if you want to include inventory. If you don't need to carry inventory forward, click No. Otherwise, click Yes. You'll now see a warning stating that no further sales can be made for the current year, 2024. This is why it's crucial to perform the year-end closure on the last day of the year, after your final sales have been completed. If you missed this deadline, remember that you have a maximum of 3 days into the new year to complete the year-end closure. If the closure is not completed within this grace period, the system will block all sales until the process is finished. Click Proceed, and the system will begin processing your selected data. Step 4. Verify the closure and access New Year's data. Once the process is complete, open the admin panel. You'll notice in the bottom left corner that the system is now operating in the folder for 2025. Step 5. Access previous years, optional. If you need to return to 2024 or any other year, for example, to download or print reports, you can do so by clicking Files in the top left corner, then selecting Directories. Choose the year you want to access. Once you've finished, don't forget to return to the current year, 2025, to resume selling. Congratulations! You now know how to perform a year-end closure. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Good luck with using CERMPAS system.